Jabron, there's someone bleeding in the ER. Hey. Um, we gotta do a scope. Who's on call? You are. Let's go. Okay, I'll film. Let's go. Hey everyone, you have an urgent scope. Let's go get the cart. So this is our mobile endoscopy cart. It's equipped with everything we need to be able to do an endoscopy and we can move it anywhere we want in the hospital. ICU, operating room, emergency room. So how do we move it? So this is the key. This is how it turns on. This is the horn. This section is the speed. That's higher speed, that's lower speed. Reverse, if you want to go backwards, turn this on, light comes on. To maneuver things, this is going forward. This thing can move pretty fast if you want it to, so you got to be careful sometimes. This is reversing. Especially when you're going backwards. So we've got the cart, but we need a scope, so let's go get one. We have so many different types of scopes. There's multiple types of VGD scopes, multiple colonoscopes, there's ERCP scopes. It's always important to wear gloves whenever you handle a scope. So Jabron's got gloves on, and now he's gonna grab an EGD scope, specifically a therapeutic scope for this case. You gotta be really careful when handling scopes because they cost thousands of dollars. Jabron is very careful. So now we've got the scope and we're gonna plug it in to the unit. So we're gonna be able to use it once we get up to the ICU. Now you can see the scope is up there. There's some buttons we need to put on. This is a red button for suction, so we can suction up fluids that are in the stomach, for example. And then there's a blue button that lets us blow air to inflate the stomach or to squirt water to clean our lens. This is a little thing called the toilet seat that lets us put in instruments into the scope. Now we're gonna hook everything up. This is hooking up the water. This is another type of water so we can spray water into the stomach. You can see there's an image right there. That's me waving. Now let's look at the scope. It's got dials, it's got buttons, it's got a lot of things. You can see the two colored buttons we already talked about. There's a button for taking pictures. And then these dials let you turn the scope to look up, look down, or look left and look right. So let's see an example of that. Jabron has it here, and you can kind of see he's got his thumb on the bigger dial that's closer to the buttons. That moves it up and down. Now he's going to move his thumb to the left-right dial, so you can see the scope is moving from left to right, the tip of the scope. And then we have easy access to be able to click the buttons with our hands to be able to suction up fluid, squirt water, or blow air into the stomach. You can see the dials again. He's moving the big dial, which is closest to the buttons. That's moving the scope up and down, the scope tip up and down. And then you can go left and right with the other dial. Once you're done with the scope, you can bring it into the decontamination room for very specialized cleaning procedures so the scope can be used again for a different patient. Now Jabron is done, and he can go to bed. Congrats, Jabron. Done.